I think of the meeting. Um, it was good to see both points of view, to be honest. Uh, it helps from my side to know yeah, what we're yeah. dealing with. And you're going to have people around acting like buffoons and uh, making statements like facts and lies. You know, it, it kind of makes it... It doesn't make it any easier for us when we, we're basing our argument on factual information, but it does make it a lot harder and very concerning when the people in power who are putting this sort of stuff forward aren't coming forth with the facts. They don't seem to know what they're talking about, and they're coming from an opinion of strip first and ask questions later. And um, if you had to do a bit of research on these sorts of things, like, like I just asked Bob, you, you all saw it. I asked him, do you think culling will work? He said no. And then I asked him, why is he going to do it then? He said, he said the exact words, he's never going to make it 100% safe. So that means more people are going to go swimming, more people are going to get attacked by crocodiles. You take big ones out, those little ones are going to be fighting and get aggressive because they want to take over that territory. That's just how crocodiles work. So that is the wrong approach. That's a scientific fact that it's the wrong approach. There's other ways we can do it. Education, awareness, putting pontoons into boat ramps, putting, um, putting enclosed swimming areas at the beaches, putting in rock pools like that. I didn't even think of that. That's a bloody great idea. I don't understand why we aren't putting all this money, time and effort. Sorry, love, I can see you struggling there. Um, she's muscling out the camera. Uh, I don't understand why they're putting all this time, money and effort into culling or removing or whatever they want to call it when there's much better options out there. You know? The way forward is not just shoot animals or remove animals. They said, like, um, Greg, who works at a crocodile farm, said if you take me a crocodile that's three metres long, he's of no use. What are they going to do to it? Put a bullet in that side. So it, what, what Pat wants to talk about, oh, it's not shooting, it's removal. They remove it to a farm and it gets shot. It's the same bloody thing. We're a protected species for a reason. We've made this mistake once before. I think we can make an educated, um, educated decision, sorry, to move forward from this and make these areas safe. Make people more educated on the potential dangers. Because of the numbers of crocodiles being so low, and crocodiles in North Queensland being like so small compared to the Northern Territory that it's not funny, the same method of management they have there is not viable here. If they're going to come up with a proper solution, more research needs to be done. We need to be start uh, we need to start educating people on crocodiles in general. A lot of these people that think that crocodiles are exploded in numbers or they're just going to jump out and run down the street and run your dog, if they were just told a few simple facts about them and made them understand them a bit better, we wouldn't be having these problems. We haven't. People saying all sorts of silly things in regards to crocodiles, okay? Um, if you throw enough, sorry to swear, but if you throw enough shit, some sticks, right? You can say whatever you want. If you say it enough times to enough people and they start repeating it, people take it as fact, they take it as gospel. Alright, you got any other questions? <laughs> no fun. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Um, what's right. your position, sorry? Where, where I'm a tour guide. Okay, whereabouts? I'm a solo, uh, solo operator. Okay. Solo, solo operator. I'm just a mess, I'm sorry. <laughs> so.